as you can see I'm here in my 1999 Discovery 2 and I'm about to go ahead and remove the headliner because it's leaking water I don't exactly know where but I guess eventually I'll find out so this is phase one I already removed the sun visors and I removed the control panel from right over here and I'm, I'm getting ready to start and move back as you can see the headliner is damaged it's sagging so I'm gonna get ready to do this and then I'll post some more shiny right here all right this button here this button here is very hard to remove this visor click so you're gonna have to get a screwdriver and you have to pry it and pull it hard actually there's some screws that goes into it also so that's another thing that you got to do you got a little part right here you got to flip this up and then there's a screw that goes in there and matter of fact this is the screw right here so you're gonna have to take that screw out before you even pull this out all right so I've finished taking up all the bits and pieces of the Land Rover and getting ready to pull out the sunroof as you can see right here by the front um, seat belt you have to take this panel off because it has some little clips right here so you're gonna have to pull off part of the um, weather stripping rubber as you can see I took out everything in there only thing I'm left to do is that back panel in there on both sides once I do that I'm gonna be able to take the whole sunroof out I mean the whole uh, headliner out and then after that I guess I'll start cleaning it up and then I'll go ahead and plexi dip it but as soon as I'm finished I'll take some more pictures and then I'll get to ready to post them if I can. Shall I? As you can see right here, my hose, which connects to right here to drain the sunroof, right there, it's already snapped. They made the, the drain pieces of plastic, so that's the reason why my sunroof on both of them. That's the other hose over there. As you can see in the rear. The rear there's no hose hanging, the hose is actually intact. But in the front, it's leaking. So since I have everything out, as you can see that's this the headline out there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to find where there's any other leaks and then I'm gonna fix that too. And anyway. This is my Rover Discovery 3. Actually, sorry, Discovery number 2. This is it with everything up. And as you can see, my sunshade also, it's fell down. So I guess I'm going to have to find a way to fix that too. So in a minute, I'll show you what else I'm doing on this. So this is the headliner for the Discovery 2. What I did is I used a wire brush and I scrubbed off all of the other stuff and then I took this broom, one of these, and I just put it on the ground and I just brushed off all the other residue. And then I'm going to clean it with some regular alcohol on a piece of cloth and then I'm going to prep it and get it ready to be plastic it. So, this is the headline. And after it's all clean, I use some regular rubbing isopropyl alcohol to clean up the rest of it, take off all the other residue. And this is it right here. It's done. So tomorrow I'll go ahead and I'll clean it. 
clean up the rest of it. And then I'll fix it and put it back in. Again. This is the inside. The whole interior is removed. Oh, by the way, if you ever need to fix the um the little sun shades, they are fixable. I got mine fixed to where they will retract almost all the way. And also, I jerry-rigged my um, thing by putting a screw in it. And there's two screws actually. There's one right here and one in the back back here. I don't know if you could see my pinky, but I got both of them where they retracted. So I took the whole sunroof out. This is the sunroof. That's the motor right there. And as you can see, I still got the, the glass in there because I didn't need to remove that, but I took everything else out. And uh, because I had to fix the sunshade. And again, as you can see, this is one of the holes that's leaked, that um, busted. You can see right there. And the same thing happened to the other one. That's the other one over there. But then they, in the rear end, in the rear, they're, they're intact. So I guess I'll put it back up. And then I'll take some videos as far as how I plexi, plexi dip it and see exactly and tie everything in together. Video might be a 15 minute video, but hey, let it be what it is. All right, uh, as you can see right here, right there, that's where the um, little piece of black thing for my, um, my sunroof was broken out. That's the drain plug. It was actually broken. And I went to Home Depot and I got a little connector for um, a hose, a little plastic connector. And um, I went ahead and I, I replaced it and I stuck that in there. And then I used some JB Wells Quick. There's this one and then there's a black one. And I went ahead and I sealed it off and I covered up the cracks and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some more because right here there's also an opening there with a, a jb wells or whatever it is they so seal it with it's starting to open up again it's crazy how they will use plastic or metal for a drain like this the majority of this truck is actually plastic so in the future if you're thinking about buying a discovery um, the thing is is you better learn to fix it yourself see that's on one end and this is the front uh, sunroof and here is the other end that's the other end right there. So I JB Wells bolted them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see where there's any more spacing that needs to be sealed up. I'm gonna mix a little bit more and then I'm gonna seal it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, back into the into the um, the truck. Over and out. This is actually a video on the headliner with three coats of Plasti Dip. You'll get some more videos, uh, pictures later right, family, on. This is the um, finished product of the headliner. As you can see, I used some Plexi Dip and I just finished putting on a thin coat of the, um, the gloss on it. I didn't want it to be too shiny, so this is how it looks. And obviously, and I didn't want to sand it because I needed it to have some kind of texture too. So I didn't sand it down. I just basically just left it the way it is. And as you can see, it came out awesome. 